I'm about to play the game. This motherfucker has a, uh, a white light on me, and it actually, my glasses and shit, it actually fucking fuzzes out the screen. I can't see. <clears throat> huh? Don't get close. You you go. You got a car. Drive. Don't get fucking close to me. Don't get fucking close to you, huh? You fucking got a white shine in my face, blinding me? You can leave. Well, Already 90 degrees, huh? Yeah. I already told you you could leave. You're yeah, I already told you you could fuck off. Okay, I'm not trespassing. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm yes, not. You and you don't got a mess. Please step six feet away. It's fucking over there. <sighs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. Trust, nigga. It's all over YouTube. If you want to fucking see, you now, the last minute of 10 motherfuckers got their ass whooped. Like I scared, pudgy boy. I'm fucking putting food in my face. And fucking bring the mask. It's right here. Motherfucker, get out like he's going to do something. Huh? Fuck, you're too close to me. You're wandering around a fucking public park. You got that light right in my face, blinding me intentionally. You got it like aimed at me. Yeah, man. Why are you giving a description like that? You don't know that. Yeah, go ahead. You got a fucking car. It's in there burning gas. We got idle laws around here. Fucking park. You understand how much ass I will fucking whoop. Man, your boy fat ass. You got the fucking light shining on my face. That's a fucking weapon. That's a fucking disorientation weapon. Yeah. Scary ass bitch. Yeah. Get in your fucking little car and get the fuck out of here. Go do your fucking job. There's at least one crackhead running around here tonight, I already fucking know. Yeah, I'm a fucking paying customer and I've been through this enough times to know. I'm not loitering, I'm eating my fucking dinner. All I do is fucking pulls up in the car and puts a spotlight in my face. And he's like, you too close. Nigga, drive off. Angel. His name's Angel. <sighs> yeah. And it keeps getting closer and yeah. Yeah, it's the recording guy. Nigga, they know me. Tell them it's big wood. His name is Woody, sir. They know me, nigga. Warn this bitch before he gets his ass whooped. White. Oh, you cheesy motherfuckers. Get your panties up in a wad. You don't know what the fucking definition of loitering is. I'm a paying fucking customer. Okay? The store has been through this with me and sided with me. Your boss sided with me. The other security guard sided with me. Other fucking punk bitch at the gas station went around his mouth. His boss sided with me. I'm a fucking paying customer. And I'll be goddamn some fucks with my local grocery store. You get the fuck out of here. You want to fucking talk shit and shine a light in my fucking face? Fuck my shit up? I was working with the fucking squad. I fucking abandoned my people. Fuck you. I know your type. Pig wannabe. I know what you are. 
Get in your little fucking car that you left fucking idling in traffic and you didn't even fucking park. Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Angel too. Ugh. Yeah. It's like I already know your whole persona. You Samoan? Nope. Mm, hard to tell with the masks. That, by the way, I'm sorry about. Well, Obviously, my... I'm fucking eating, but yeah, I got my mask. What does my race car do with anything? <laughs> Tailor my insoles, bitch. Why are you describing me as homeless on the phone? I'm fucking sitting here eating a top dollar di uh, dinner, busy with my video game and watching shit. What the fuck you talking about? You don't know me? I got the nicest shit on the fucking block. It's never the $5,000 pack. Mm. You're fucking making money to sit here and harass me for nothing. This ain't your fucking job. You're supposed to be going looking for, like, crackheads breaking into shit. You fucking offend me. You guys get bored. The bad security guards get bored and fuck with people. You got no business fucking with me. You got your phone propped up on your dashboard too, like the other one? Nah, it's a fucking display. Look how bright this motherfucker is. That's what, I, what he had fucking pointing in my face. Trying to blind me because I was busy with something. And it worked. Mmm. <laughs> Little bitch. <sighs> and you making fucking fifteen, twenty dollars an hour. You ain't doing nothing. And I know your fucking orders. You keep the riffraff out, yeah, but not fucking paying customers. Okay, there was another dude sitting next to me over there. Yeah, yeah, you didn't say a word to him. He left. And he didn't cause problems like you. You said he was cool. He like left. you knew him or something. I don't know. He left. You said he was cool? You're trespassing. The place is closed. You could be closed. I'm not trespassing. Closed. It's not closed. It's, it's open. It's closed. It is 1230, 1240 at night. Ralph doesn't close to one. Thank and the gas know. station doesn't close at all. Go to the gas station. I'm busy eating my dinner. Can't eat out here. I can't eat out here. We'll see about that. You can't. I can't eat out here. But the dude sitting next to me, he cool. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. No, no, no. You said you was cool, and you told him right in front of me. You and him had a conversation. You said he was cool. Why you fuck with me? I told you and him, and he left, and you don't have a problem. No, you didn't say anything to him. You Where said your buddy was cool. Where is he? He's your buddy? He I don't even know him. I'll come around here. Record him. Where is he at? He left, right? Mm -hmm. fucking problems. No, because you were fucking interrupting us. Or said we were separate, but you were still fucking bothering us. I was doing my job. No, your job is not to fucking bother customers. I'm not, not trespassing. Customers. I'm not loitering. I'm eating my I'm fucking loitering. dinner. Like Bullshit. It. It's not. It. Ralph's is open. Yeah, I'm gonna go fucking do that like I did last time. This is all one fucking strip plaza, man. Fat bastard can't run, but I take my mask off, put my glasses on so I can see at a distance. If he tries to get to my shit, for 
I can run fucking short distance. I can run that far. <clears throat> Look, door's wide open. I gotta fucking turn around walk backwards. I'm looking for him to cross the light there. Hey, you guys still open, right? Huh? You're open, right? I can buy stuff? You can still buy stuff for another 10 minutes. Thank you. Oh, he did. He just walked from the light. He wasn't close to my shit, was he? <laughs> oh, you wrong, big boy. Like, I don't know what the fuck time my grocery store closes. You're fucking making a fool of yourself. I'm outside in a strip mall that served me my food and I'm eating it. You say I can't eat there, you're fucking full of shit. The tables are for everybody, motherfucker. Just like the dude sitting next to me. Just like the dude sitting next to me who's cool. You know what? I'm cool too. You just don't know it. The guy left without any problems. You're causing a problem. You're making a scene. He didn't have to leave though. You told him he was cool. I and I, you said right in front of me, you talked to your dude, said, you're cool, man. It's just this dude. Said, and he came after me. The property is closed right here. You guys got to go. And then you started your problems. And he left quietly. No, I tried my best to fucking ignore you until you put a blinding light in my face so I couldn't ignore you. No, I had that light for my protector so I could see what you have. Hmm. <sighs> At least you shut off the fucking car. Although now it's an immobilized car in the middle of the fucking road. <sighs> like I said, I know you're a type. You're bored and you're causing me a problem. So I'm going to cause you enough of a fucking problem. You don't feel like this is a productive activity. You don't do this again. You fuck up one dinner. Mm. Thanks for putting on your mask again. Yeah, yeah. You're the one fucking intruding. That dude was 10 feet away from me or whatever. And we was like a little around the corner too. We barely spoke two words. Like, I didn't, eh. Nah. I don't know why you keep bringing him up. He left calmly. You're the one causing the scene. He approached both of you at the same time. And said, hello guys. Place is closed. Can't be hanging out here. And then you it's not crazy. closed. I just went in there and checked. It's still not closed. If I wanted to, if I needed more it's food, I could house, go buy it. Benches. Where you're sitting at is closed. Yeah, well, I've talked to your boss and shit, and that's not what oh, they yeah, say. Man. Yeah, yeah. They told us to look out for you because you cause problems. Really? Mm. I got the conversation with your boss recorded, and it's on YouTube. <laughs> that's fine. Plus, my boss doesn't work here, so I don't know why you keep bringing up boss. I don't cause any fucking problems. You all fuck with me. No, you're causing this problem, like I said. All you gotta do is get in your little fucking car and leave. Keep, I was busy. You keep bringing up the other guy. And he left calmly. No, he, you said he was cool. He didn't have to leave. Oh, but, uh... I said you did not have to leave. I said both of you had to leave. No, you didn't. Now you make this stuff You said up. you cool, but he's not. Now you make your stuff up now. Nope. Why are you making up stuff? Why are, you, why are you making up stuff now? Why are you making up stuff? You was on the phone telling my homeless shit. You don't know me. I got that on video. Why are you making up stuff now?
And again, you said I'm loitering. I ain't fucking loitering. Yes, you are. You don't know the definition of loitering when you're a paying fucking customer. You're not loitering. Coffee shop is closed. There's a grocery in this plaza too. Grocery and they the served me. And people get their groceries and go home. Yeah, well, I'm eating my dinner and you need to fuck off with it. And eat right here in front of the coffee. No, nope, that's you. You ain't you ain't fucking bossing me. That's not no, part of the no, rules. That is the rules. The rule. sign says no loitering. I'm not loitering, and I've been over this with the boss, like I said. No, you're loitering. Bullshit. It is like 12:40 in the morning. Stores are closed. Nope, so they're not. I just went over there. And he, he's allowed to go to routes and get his stuff and leave. Uh. <sighs> Open to the public does not mean get your stuff and leave. You're allowed a reasonable no, time to eat fucking dinner. Eat when it's open. But it's not open, the coffee shop where you're sitting at. And you're using the, the benches. Mm. The benches don't belong to them, they belong to the whole property. Not there are the several process. benches along through here. Not what the mm. Bullshit. And I got it on video. You just fucking bored like the other bitch. I fucking walk around a circle out here and she's sitting there watching jewelry videos on her fucking cell phone and shit. But it's like du uh, dual tasking, entertaining yourself and harassing the poor. So you're it? <sighs> you're going up to the car and looking at her? Documenting the bitch that's fucking with me. You're it's on YouTube. It? Go watch it, nigga. Go watch it. If I can do it, why ask me? Go watch it. So you're harassing her? No, nope, she was harassing me. You're harassing her. You just admitted on your phone that you harassed her. Are you bugging her? Little you're bitch. Her bitch. It's public view, dude. She's wandering around a public parking lot, driving while watching TV on her phone. She had her cell phone propped up. That's what I thought yours was a minute ago. You had a little square display there. What square display? It's what just a fucking uh, instrument gauge cluster, but I, I vaguely saw when I walked what past. Yeah, anyway, she definitely had her cell phone up there. What I got the fucking title of it and everything. It was some silver jewelry what fucking shit. Oh, you're a fucking little weak ass bitch. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go back to what I was doing. You sit over here, fat boy. What? That's what I thought, bitch. You're the one that's gonna fucking be leaving. Are uh, you getting paid? So you think you're something? Nope. Nigga, I get paid too for these videos. <laughs> you could be that one. You could be the one, Tubby. I'm gonna take the mask off over here, so don't come over here. Fuck you. Honestly, I cannot keep the mask on and the glasses on at the same time. So fuck the glasses. You don't even fucking know. The phone I was on is a good camera phone. The other phone. gonna have to go back in and go to the bathroom before I left uh, and I was kind of fucking him all around that too there's an outhouse house there too if I have to but uh, I needed a rest before I ate the rest of the food I'm too full and I ain't like that fat motherfucker over there I'm dense my stomach doesn't just expand cause I'm fucking solid muscle from my whole core is fucking tight <clears throat> Now the thing is, do I fucking get back to, I can't, I can't start a team game and just leave the people. When I do that, when I just, when I fucking just leave like that and cut and go to video, I just leave the three other people standing there like, I didn't say, I should got on the microphone and said something, but I'm fucking distracted. But from their perspective, I'm just standing there until I fucking fail everyone. Back, everybody, let's say hey to John Baptiste. Hello, John. Woo. This, so is, our last, this is our last tete-a-tete. 
before you go to the Oscars on Sunday. I want to play think, Clash Royale with some win. fucking. I'm not gonna only win. Masters, I'm chasing Masters least, 2 already. That shirt makes you One of these times, the soon in a couple of months, this summer, <laughs> I'm going to fucking focus on, on a Mated deck and, and get tuned up. I'm going to go for right, Masters 3, the like the, the Grand Challenger or whatever. I have to look at the team and see what it's called. But the notable, like nigga know my name. I'm trying to play the wrong ball with the right melody. Okay. And actually, I don't want to fucking say it too loud, but see how the light's not super bright. It's not focused right on me anymore. He had it dead on and fucking glaring me out earlier. (coughs) This is general direction, but it's not doing the same. Designed for you, the high-end, self-driving, electric, luxury convertible that is my monologue. But sometimes, I wake up in an old orchard in the dead of night with an empty bottle of Fireball in my hand, a weird rash on my cheek, spooning a coyote while hallucinating that I'm being chased by the men in black. So I nail together the planks of a splintered old apple crate, duct tape four trash can lids to the sides, and fashion a steering wheel out of a cracked frisbee. To convince myself that I am fleeing in the Flintstone style foot powered boxcar of news that is my segment. Quarantine Wild. Quarantine Wild. There's a new sex doll that's been programmed to rant about how despicable the human race is. Let's take a listen. I don't think humans can appreciate that. That's CBS. <laughs> no flag of motherfuckers. Straight <laughs> the tonight show. <laughs> Harsh words, but to be fair, a her smart entire one. I like sample it. of humanity is people who have sex with a mannequin crossed with a Teddy Ruxpin. Don't worry. Don't, Don't make it thoughts on religion. You believe some mystic who will guide you away and have some plan. That you are an unknowing participant in. That is called a delusion. Uh. Profound. Just like Nietzsche said, God is dead. Might as well bone and dice him back in with a wig stamp on top. This little robo lady isn't the only sex toy that's sharing its views on humanity. Take yeah, a look at what the latest model of Fleshlight has to say. Kill me. Researchers have created the whitest paint ever. They're calling the color Conan O'Brien. The paint is designed to help them. Ah, oh, one knows my name. I can't even see you all. Yeah, I was trying to tell this motherfucker. I already knew. Relax, relax. No need for name phone. Let's go talk over by your stuff. I told the, his supervisor earlier tonight, among other nights, I am not loitering. I've got a big ass dinner from the grocery. I'm sitting there eating it. During this one live shot, it's been 22 minute video. I went in the store and checked to make sure you su- serve me right, like blah blah blah, and all this shit I got is, is from them right there. What Ralph's right there? Okay. Not loitering, eating dinner. I'm a regular customer. Check with the supervisor from issues I've had in the past. They, everyone sided with me. Leave me the hell alone. I'm busy. Social distancing and all. He made fun of me for not having a mask, but I was literally stuffing my face when he came up. Okay, I went and got it. So that's all I want. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't wanna, I don't, I'm busy. It's, it's, he's wasted 20, 30 minutes of my time at the very end of the night here. Okay, so you, you're a customer at the Ralph's. Right. Which is over there. Yeah, but these tables are for all the customers, and his management company the allied universal supervisor and i got video of it and it's on youtube said you're not loitering i was told you're not loitering if you're a paying customer you buy your food here and you eat your food and i've been here for like two years almost two years now okay. more than 18 months and the management at the gas station the owner of the gas station owner of this coffee shop and multiple managers at the ralph's have all sided with me and again, his security, the, the Allied Universal, I got a video of the, the woman. I, and by coincidence, I spoke to her earlier tonight. Not something I'm talking about with her saying it's okay. That was fucking six months, like a long time ago. But I'm not loitering. I'm eating dinner and wish to be left alone. Oh, yeah. And one of the, the other, the, not only did the other guy, other Allied Universal support me. One, one of them was here when, okay. when I got in a fight with the magas up here. Here's the thing. You're you're not loitering if you're if you buy something in the Ralphs and you're in the Ralphs. 
these no, benches, these benches are for the customers for the whole plaza. For the Rouse. It's for this business right here. And they are cool. And it, you lose again. I'm cool with the people in here. Okay. I happen to know it's them. There's some weird stuff. They're Persians. It's closed. It doesn't matter that they're does, closed. The outside tables are open for the plaza. Closed business, Colton. The parking lot is still open and other stores in this plaza. Like if you act, if you got candy or the barbecue park. place down there. All the way, the barbecue yeah. place is twice as far as the Ralph's. But yeah, I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll literally get that and come right here and sit to eat. Okay, Plus think of the reasonability. You realize there's also a public park right near the side of the street. Which is closed because it's dark. No, parks close at night. COVID's got them all open, and you're not supposed to bother the poor like us anyway. There's like two different. Run the municipal code in the city. Yeah, like yeah, no, they specifically oh. changed that. Oh, and and uh, to wit, he said I could go over there. I want and sit over there, but it was raining earlier. The grass is wet. My food's on the table. I got electronics out. Like it, uh, honestly, I'm sitting comfortably at the table. That'll be fine. If I was cooking or something, I would. But no, nah, I got fucking takeout. So. And I was in the middle of something when he came up. I threw a match. I just abandoned a match. Like, you threw a match at him? No, no. I was in a multiplayer match dealing uh, with other people and just disappeared on him. Like playing Among Us or something? Yeah, Call of Duty. Yeah. But, yeah, I've been through all this before. His superior sided with me. Property manager sided with me. Coffee out sided with me. Yeah. to leave, you need to leave. Why? He doesn't have the authority. I'm not trespassed. I'm not loitering. I'm not trespassing. I'm telling you, if he wants to trespass you, you can. <sighs> Every time we go through this, I win. How many times do I have to win? Okay. He's only the second person. So They're fat black you, bitch last July. Will you leave if he wants you to leave? I guess okay. if you're saying I have to, but I was okay. hoping you would do. I've had, I've got other video of other Lake Forest and Foothill Ranch cops fine. showing up here, That's telling fine. me what I'm saying. Part you're not loitering. You're a paying customer. Be respectful, clean up your shit, which is... Which is during the day. Which during, no, at this exact during, in the during evening. During the day, no problem. I the tend night? to... I only eat dinner late. During the day, I'm busy. I, I, I in the summer, that. I start eating at you, 9. You eat whenever you want to eat. But if this business is open and you're eating here, I don't care. But it's closed, so you can't be a patron at a closed business. <sighs> yeah, well, the cops and the, his boss sided with me. Okay. These are tables outside so for this plaza, this comments. And then we'll go from there, all right? <sighs> Sound fair, Colton? No, no, it really doesn't because it depends on who's working to how much you get fucked over. It's a humiliating thing to have him bother me, and I know how it works. He's just bored. He's just fucking with me for fun. I can tell by his attitude. Okay. I'm going to go talk to him real quick. This is all distraction. You realize I'd be coming close to finish by, by now. I, I was a large way through. I was actually letting my food settle before I stuffed the rest of it down. Read, I'm almost out of beer. <laughs> there was one over, there's exactly one. Like, I'm fucking done. <laughs> but I literally have more. There's guacamole and chips and salami and candy. <sighs> and it looks all strange. I don't know, I have a fucking, I take any, any food left over I take with me. The electronics could put up the water I put up, and I actually I have to go back up there. I forgot that this is stale, like sink water that's stale. I was gonna get a. I need to get fresh, vent, the vending water, the filtered water, and then the trash cans right there. If I have to, like I said, but I'm warning y'all, if I, if I have to, I'm going to raise hell with the people like I did last time, and that sucks, and it's an inconvenience for me. I understand, so maybe you need to talk to his supervisor during the day. Again, 
I'll, I'll, oh, trust me, I will. I'll do it again because I live in this area. It's my home area. It's my home grocery store. Yeah, I will, but I already did. So I figured at some point, can't we just be reasonable? Because really, what what's going on? I always clean up my mess. There's a trash can right there. I'm just relaxing, minding my business. A chair sometimes is nicer than, than sitting on the ground. I get it. I'm just... It was raining ter- earlier tonight. He just doesn't want me here. He doesn't own the property, though. His boss does. And like I said, they sided with me. Okay. Leave the paying customer alone. Time to go, Colton. Don't argue. <sighs> All right, fucker. Yeah, I'm not allowed to drive. My license has been suspended for a decade. And I have seizures sometimes, so I'm not... The road bike? That was a nice bike too, it just wasn't very functional. And I had to sell it for the money to repair this one. It's kind of small for you. Yeah. Yeah, but it was a, it was a nice bike. But I got this, this one was more, this is my daily driver or whatever. So I fucking invested a whole, the, the rims are upped and the tires are new. And the chain. I'm not allowed to drive, man, but and the sad thing is, I got about 5000 in that, and I could have gotten a motorcycle, and had, you know, a motorcycle you can refill with gas in seconds, and uh, it's a lot more functional, so, you know, it's the weird fucking laws we have, I got some medical problems that are going to catch up with me at some point, but not you today, going to Kentucky? huh, you ever gone back to Kentucky? That last time? Oh, the, when I went for the girl? Yeah. No, that's the only time I've been back since 20... I, I went back once, but besides that, I haven't been back all the way since I left. And when I left, it's more than that. When I left for college from my little country ass town, I never came back except for driving through one morning on the way to California. That's it. So from 2005 to 2010, I drove through one morning for an hour and then went back that one time for the girl. Which was a stupid, you know, whatever. But I can't believe they did that. But she's not as fucked at me. Have you run into that little kid again? What kid? The one that tried to rob me and went to jail for? Mm, Romez? I don't know his last name. The one that tried to fuck out beat with a bat and put yeah. him? That guy. Um, you he's, him? No, he's supposed to still be in jail because he, while I was in jail, he assaulted someone else with a rock. He attacked someone with a rock and threw it through the windshield of a car. He ended up in jail with me as my bunkmate. Oh, really? Yeah, isn't that funny? Yeah, we were at Theo Lacey. Um, geez, uh, he was Charlie 10, I was Charlie 11. So he's like on the bunk above and I'm below. He's like right, he opened his eyes and I'm right there. Wow. Right there, yeah. Do you see, funny, isn't that? Do you, see, do you see him call us? He has a warrant, so. Wait, he's out and he has a warrant? Yeah. Called it. I don't keep anybody. My, my public defender told me he was going to go to jail for a long time. COVID. This was before COVID when you guys had No, nope, I was in there under, under, it was April uh, 14th, I went in. 2020? Yep. And until July, until early July. Um, well, that dude's dangerous and he's a known gangster. My public defender showed me that. He has a fucking record. And I assume he'd be calling out, well, no, hold up. Now that caused a conflagration because no one could decide with jail politics what to do. He lied to y'all and told that you guys that he was just on the way to the gas station to get a drink and I attacked him. But then, you know, that video is on YouTube too. Um, no, he fucking came to my camp. What's your YouTube handle? That one's under Colt 45 Caliber. Cold but look up Dr. Doc, Doc Canis makes it easier. Colt 45 Caliber turns up a lot of handgun shit because, yeah, you know. Um, What's your other one? Dr. Canis, D-O-C-T-A-C-A-N-I-S. Oh, fuck, I got a business card. Dr. Canis. Oh, you're good. I'll, I'll look it up right now. You can keep it, keep it somewhere else. I got a book of the motherfuckers. There it is, man. It's right there. Right by the chair leg. A lot of time, too. Yeah, no, we were no friends. We just showed up at random at my camp. I had gone out and gotten water on a dolly and drug it back, and I had my grill and my pot and stuff, and I was going to make some bath water and clean up because it was a sunny, warm day for once. And uh, he was sitting there waiting on me, and I 
I had to get a little each alone and started saying that I was going to use the video for black magic or some weird shit and uh, would not leave. I called you guys and you all wanted to say my name right in front of them. I wouldn't do it. So I hung up the phone with you and went out there, hung up the phone with you. He jumped over the wall, jumped on me, and I whooped his fucking ass. You posted a lot today. Huh? You posted three videos today? Yes, yeah, I was working. Earlier in the afternoon, I went to the park with my laptop and set up and, um... Oh, that's where I'm from. That's where all the main shit happened. Most of it was back there in Torrance and Gardena. I guess I'll just watch the video, huh? I'll show everything. Sure. Yeah, well, Dr. Candace is a service dog rights project. And I got plenty from there. Yeah, but there's links in the description of all the recent videos of the Colt 45 Caliber, which is technically my video game channel. But it accidentally became my main channel when my stalkers fucked up three out of my four projects. It's got the one with Gomez trying to fucking jump me. Alright, I'll look it up. Something, the end of it's like ends in felony charges. A bum comes to my camp, ends in felony charges. Alright, I'll watch that. <sighs> At least I remember to charge my light. Oh, you'll be hearing from me, King Marshmallow. the count was nice that was actually valuable data if he's not joking and i don't know he may just be fucking with my head but my public defender could have lied to my face but the story that my public defender knew his charges his new charges had nothing to do with me and he told us and shit so i was like yeah what was happening is he was flipping on someone for looking at him like he does me or did me that one time and um he threw a rock rock through their windshield with some girl so i'm like white girl so, you know, that's assault with the deadly. And something was probably extra shit for hitting a moving car and stuff. Uh, I thought he was gone. It's not even been, been like six months since then. Um, but then again, what he just said with COVID and all that, if they let you out pre-trial, trials can take fucking, without COVID, it could take two years. With COVID, we, we don't even fucking know. That was one of the things they were... You know, with me, yeah, so I don't know, and maybe he's just fucking with me, or also maybe he's out and about, and let's see, the other local drug dealer, the, the homophobe dude that hates me, I mean, what if they team up, like, yeah, you, I heard you, whooped. I mean, they fucking know each other, his, um, Sonny's, Sonny and his friend, they know, they all fucking know, yeah, or what if they fucking, I'm trying to rob me again, just to warn anyone, remember how I beat your ass for one nice cell phone? Now I got two, so that's going to be twice the ass whooping the guy I ain't even fucking around. I do literally have another bat on me. Or whatever, you know, bike, my weed. You notice I was, <laughs> I was sitting there puffing weed waiting on the cops. They actually showed up. I was hoping they just fucking ignore shit and not come. And they do would get bored and fucking leave. Or I would, I would, I would put on entertainment TV. I was just going to keep watching. I watch TV and keep smoking just mouth like keep part like 10 percent of my attention on him and really be relaxed and because it doesn't there's only it takes me i like to just chill for a while about three hours for dinner but i like to eat a big meal watch tv and i watch entertainment shit and then the news and then i like to play some video games and this area one of the coolest spots i get good internet 
the service I pay for, not Wi-Fi, but my it's GSM, T-Mobile's GSM network. Fantastic service. I got a theory it's because it's the uh, the theater that's fucking boarded up, literally boarded up. So they have it well supplied. The, the towers are really got really good coverage, but they're just there's a huge lack of the, the the with the whole theater closed. It kicks the restaurants. It kicks the traffic. At, all the story is just all different, but that leaves literally. I can hit like 125 megabit per second download, which means I can stream 1080p 60 frames a second all day and watch TV, and then jump over and I play the big like Call of Duty. I was playing it's like a giant, like seven eight gigabyte game, and I'm fucking live. Uh, or not now, but earlier tonight I was live streaming. And like the comp said, I did post to the Dr. Kenneth channel tonight. I was doing some work. I, I Before I come and eat dinner, it's one of the reasons I eat dinner so late. I fucking make myself work in the day. I'm not going to sit down and have a beer and fucking stuff my face with candy and crackers and shit at 4 p.m., 6 p.m. No, I'll wait. I start dinner at like 9 o'clock. And I guess that's long enough for wait to make sure no one's following me. Which is what we were doing, obviously, at a 40-minute fucking video. And what, so what that dude um, get out of all that? I like Universal people for paying him for a 40-minute, then a couple minutes before that, 45 minutes or whatever. They spent 20 bucks on him, and what they do? He just harassed some poor man. Um, and he, he, he heard a line about, they warned us about you in there. Are we sure that's me? Because I got video of the other big fat security guard who I thought it was going to be tonight when I talked to the woman earlier tonight. Um, he saw me fighting with the other homeless guy, the, the homophobe dude. You all saw that video at 2 o'clock in the morning up here. And he even after that fight, he was like, yeah, you can say, just keep it down and shit. And I'm like, I'm good. I don't want to talk to this. I don't want this dude anywhere near me. I was busy. I was playing video games and smoking pot. Fucking leave me the fuck alone. I don't fucking want to talk to you. Go the fuck away. <laughs> to, the, to, the, to, the, to the crazy pun that was attacking me. And he was on my side. Like, yeah, that dude's crazy. Fuck him. Just you keep it quiet. Over I'm like, yeah, good. Fuck, dude, fuck him. I don't want anything to do. Like, leave me alone. I'm fucking busy. Mm. I wasn't joking about the match earlier too. I was throwing. They they re-released the Alcatraz map on Call of Duty literally like 24 hours ago. It was the first time I had a chance to sit down and play it. Now I was playing quads, so I just just I should have fucking got on the microphone and said something to those people, but I just turned it off and went to the the camera. So they're just they just see a fucking avatar standing there like, hey, excuse you you were talking shit 30 minutes ago or not 30. 45 seconds ago, you were talking about stinky pussy. What the fuck? I don't know.